From the Cardinal Television Studios, I'm Justin Gould with your Fisher News Brief. President-elect Donald Trump's team is holed up inside Trump Tower, choosing his staff and cabinet. This as President Obama travels overseas to explain Donald Trump to American allies. It's Obama's last major trip as president, and President-elect Trump is very much on the agenda. Scott McLean explains from Washington. President Obama touched down in Athens today for the first leg of his last major foreign trip. Obama spoke with the Greek prime minister about the economy, the refugee crisis, and his successor. You've seen some of the rhetoric among Republican elected officials. President-elect Trump tapped into that particular strain within the Republican Party and then was able to broaden that enough uh, and get enough votes to win the election. The last time he was abroad, Obama called Trump unqualified and assured foreign leaders he would not win. Today, he's assuring them things will be okay. The future of humanity and the future of the world is going to be defined by what we have in common as opposed to those things that separate us. America's post-Obama direction will be determined in part by the decisions being made inside Trump Tower today, a process led by VP-elect Mike Pence. Sources say former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani is a leading contender for Secretary of State, along with former U.N. Ambassador John Bolton. John would be a very good choice. <laughs> is there anybody better? Maybe me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Under Trump, maintaining foreign relationships will be important. According to a leaked transition memo, Trump's first 200 days would see the U.S. reverse decades of conciliatory trade policy. That means renegotiating NAFTA and killing the Trans-Pacific Trade Deal, a new approach to foreign affairs that's tough even for Obama to sugarcoat. In Washington, I'm Scott McLean. President Obama will also visit Germany and Peru on his final foreign trip. And Paul Ryan was re-elected by the House Republican Conference Tuesday to serve a second term as Speaker of the House. The official vote will come in early January when the next session of Congress begins. House GOP members re-elected the Wisconsin Republican in a unanimous vote on Tuesday. The Speaker and other GOP leaders held a news conference following the unanimous decision. Ryan saying he is on the same page with Trump. Donald Trump is a multi-billionaire successful businessman who has been so successful because he's surrounded himself with good people. He is a man who has made great successes, created tens of thousands of jobs because he gets good advice from good people who are around him in his life. What's wrong with that? That's a good thing. We're going to focus on doing our job here in Congress. He's going to focus on populating his administration. And we're going to do everything we can to help him be as successful as he's going to be, and which I think he's going to be a very successful president. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has decided to delay construction of the controversial Dakota Access Pipeline for further discussion and analysis with the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. The nearly 1,200-mile oil pipeline would span from North Dakota to Illinois. The developer sought permission from the Army Corps to tunnel under the Missouri River in Lake O, North Dakota, in order to complete the project. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe, which relies on the lake and river for its drinking water, has objected due to environmental concerns. They argue that digging under the river would affect the tribe's drinking water supply and put communities living downstream at risk for contamination by crude oil leaks and spills. Backers of the pipeline say it's the safest and most efficient way to transport oil rather than using rail or trucks. Its proponents also say the pipeline could help the U.S. become less dependent on importing energy from foreign countries. And the Chevrolet Bolt is Motor Trend's car of the year. The newest all-electric compact car from General Motors earned the honor ahead of the Los Angeles Auto Show. Motor Trend's review calls it a good, small hatchback of any type and surprisingly roomy inside. The Bolt is not to be confused with its Chevy cousin, the Volt, which has a gasoline engine along with electric motor. On a full charge, the Chevy Bolt's driving range is estimated 238 miles. It expects to go on sale by the end of the year at a price tag around $37,500 before federal tax incentives. Motor Trend handed out two other awards. The Mercedes-Benz GLC was named SUV of the Year, 
along with the Ford Super Duty Truck of the Year. And I'm sure by now you've all had your fill of the mannequin challenge. We've seen poses from politicians, athletes, even people underwater. But this has got to be the cutest effort yet. Six toddlers in New Jersey went viral with their attempt at the web trend and didn't exactly nail it. But when you see how cute they are, it really doesn't matter. And that's all of today's headlines. I'm Justin Gould for Fisher News Brief.